you for the coming. Good afternoon, everyone. Let us offer the holy sacrifice of the Mass today in honor of the Immaculate Heart of our Blessed Mother, Our Lady of Fatima, especially for her intentions and her wishes for the triumph of the Immaculate Heart of Our Lady. And let us begin as we should begin and end all things in the name of the Father and of the Son, the Holy Spirit, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words and what I have done and what I have failed to do through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who prepared a fit dwelling place for the Holy Spirit in the heart of the Blessed Virgin Mary, graciously grant that through her intercession we may be a worthy temple of your glory through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. The first reading, a reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The word of God continued to spread and gain followers. Barnabas and Saul completed their task and came back from Jerusalem, bringing John Mark with them. In the church of Antioch, the following prophets and teachers, Barnabas, Simeon called Nigger, and Lucius of Siron, Manon, who had been brought up with Erod and Tetriarch and Saul. One day, while they were offering worship to the Lord and keeping a fast, the Holy Spirit said, I want Barnabas and Saul set apart for the work to which I have called them. So it was that after fasting and prayer, they laid their hands on them and sent them off. So these two, sent on their mission by the Holy Spirit, went down to Cilicia and from there to Cyprus, they landed at Salamis and proclaimed the word of the God in the synagogues of the Jews. John acted as their assistant. This is the word of the Lord. Your responsible psalm will be, let the peoples praise, O God, let all peoples praise you. O God, be gracious and bless us and let your face shed its light upon us. So will your ways be known upon earth, and all nations learn your saving help. Your son, let your praises praise you, O God, let all the peoples praise you. Let all the nations be glad and exalt, for you rule the world with justice. With fairness you rule the peoples, you guide the nations on earth. Let the peoples praise you, O God, let all the peoples praise you. May God still give us his blessing till end of the earth revere him. The gospel acclamation. 
Please stand up. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. You believe, Thomas, because you can see me. Happy are those who have not seen and yet believe. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus declared publicly, Whoever believes in me, believes not in me, but in the one who sent me. And whoever sees me, sees the one who sent me. I, the light, have come into the world, so that whoever believes in me need not stay in the dark anymore. If anyone hears my words and does not keep them faithfully, it is not I who shall condemn him, since I have come not to condemn the world, but to save the world. He who rejects me and refuses my words has his judge already. The word itself that I have spoken will be his judge on the last day. For what I have spoken does not come from myself. No, what I was to say, what I had to speak, was commanded by the Father who sent me. And I know that his commands mean eternal life. And therefore, what the Father has told me is what I speak. The Gospel of the Lord. When we hear our Lord speak to us about faith, other than our Lord himself, is there anyone else who has ever been who had such faith in the Father's will, the Father's desire, the Father's need to satiate his thirst for the salvation of souls? Other than Our Lady, I can't picture anyone else who is so conformed to the will of God and notice what Our Lady says to him as a 12 or 15 year old child. Fiat, be it done unto me according to thy word. Mary does not ask what is it her advantage. Mary does not ask how can I progress or how can I take advantage of this situation and increase my wealth in this life. She responds by saying my soul magnifies the Lord. Therefore, by saying that, she is indicating to us that she is the perfect reflection of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. She is in perfect conformity to God's will. And therefore, she is the handmaid of the Lord and allows herself to be used as God sees fit. 100 years ago, now, Our Lady came right here. And she spoke to three little children and expressed to them the will of the Father to make reparation, to persevere, to pray for souls that are falling into hell, to appease the Father's justice by activating the mercy of God. And she would be with us to the end. And in the end, her immaculate heart will triumph. So how does that relate to each one of us who has made this pilgrimage from all over the world here for the 100th anniversary? You have been called here to Fatima, just like the three children 100 years ago, to hear the mother of God speak to your heart, just like the father through the angel spoke to her and called her forth to spread the word of Jesus Christ, to spread the word of God's mercy to be that, that little pencil in the hand of God as he sends you out to be raised in uh, moments of hope to others who live in darkness. I encourage you, I applaud you, I thank you all for coming. But your mission is not ended here, it's just beginning. You must return home to your families and to your friends and to your countries and you must be living witnesses, testaments of hope, you must be tabernacles of sanctity, vessels of singular devotion following in the shadow of Mary. Therefore, pray your rosary daily. Pray for the conversion of the family, the country, the world, and anticipate 
the greatest joy given to us, the triumph of the Immaculate Heart through the Sacred Heart of our Lord Jesus Christ. If you have not already done so, I urge you, please, make the total consecration to Our Lady. Whether it is through St. Louis the Montfort's wave consecration, or Father Gately, 33 days of morning glory, or the consecration of St. John Paul II, or Teresa of Calcutta, does not matter. But consecrate everything that you do to Our Lady, because when she presents you before our Lord, He will have no qualm with you. And why was the Hail Mary given to us? Just think for a moment how powerful that prayer is. It's scriptural, but at the same time, you have to understand, Satan has already lost to Almighty God. Christ rose from the dead. Alleluia, alleluia. He knows he's already lost to our Blessed Mother, for she shall step on your head and you shall lie in wait for her heel. So why would all hell quake at the name of Mary? Because each time that name is mentioned in prayer, Satan realizes, is this the moment of the triumph of the Immaculate? Is Mary, heel of humility, going to come and crush my head of pride? And when you stand before God, other than Christ himself, what greater advocate could you possibly ask to be there for you? For it is pray for us now and at the moment of our death. Turn to Mary. Place your hand in hers and allow her to lead you into the kingdom of the Father through the merciful heart of his Son. Amen. Turning with, oh, I'm sorry. Turning with infinite trust to our merciful Father and through the heart of the mother, we ask him to hear our prayers and petitions. For all the faithful, that by obeying the appeals of Mary in a spirit of true penance and prayer, they may work wholeheartedly for the renewal of the world, for the kingdom of Christ, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who exercise sacred ministry in the church, that they be attentive to the word of God, love it, and proclaim it with fidelity and enthusiasm, as Mary did, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who govern nations, that they may work for justice and peace in the world, and harmoniously collaborate in the just distribution of earthly goods among all the inhabitants of the world, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who suffer, that in union with Mary, consoler of the afflicted, in the loving care of others, and in the contemplation of the cross of Christ, they may find courage to face life, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all here present, and for our families, and for the citizens here from the United Kingdom, and the United States and Canada, New Jersey, Ave Maria, Florida, that by the intercession of Mary, those who seek Christ may find him, sinners may be converted, young people may open their hearts, with enthusiasm to the gospel, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And let us also pray through the Immaculate Heart of our Blessed Mother for all priests, that Mary, Mother of Priests, will keep us next to her heart, and that we may draw many souls to the merciful heart of the Father through Christ our Lord. Amen. And let us pray together. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Merciful Father, we come before you with humble and contrite heart, and we ask you to hear our prayers and petitions and to grant them if they are in accord with thy holy and sacred will. And we ask this as we ask all things through Christ our Lord.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. With humble spirit and contrite heart, we accept the you, Lord, and sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Look, O Lord, upon the prayers and offerings of your faithful, presented in commemoration of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, and may they be pleasing to you, and may confer on us your help and forgiveness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. With Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and eternal God, to praise, bless, and glorify your name in veneration of the blessed ever Virgin Mary. For by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, she conceived your only begotten Son, but without losing the glory of virginity, brought forth into the world the eternal light, Jesus Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble prayer as we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and the working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy, and you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. 
Therefore, O oh Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and martyrs, with blessed Jacinta and blessed Francisco, and with all the saints in whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Antonio, our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, a merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may always be free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer to each other a sign of Christ's peace. Lamb of God,
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb.
Let us pray. Having been made partakers of eternal redemption, we pray, O Lord, that we who commemorate the mother of your son may glory in the fullness of your grace and experience its continued increase for our salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. Jubilee Prayer of Consecration. We now bless the religious objects that you have with you. Heavenly Father, we ask you to send down the Holy Spirit upon these items. Through the intercession of our Blessed Mother, Blessed Jacinta and Francisco, may they be a sign of salvation for those who will receive them and those who will use them. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended.